Oh, sometimes it's like magic. Sometimes there have been times where I'll be able to, I'll be performing and doing something. And at the same time as that, I'm also like going, okay, I understand what those people like. These guys don't like that so much. I've got an idea for where I'm going to go. And I'm like four steps ahead of what I'm currently doing. And it's like... It's like your brain fractures into a bunch of parts and there's like a bunch of guys going, sitting there taking notes and being like, let's do that, we'll go over here now. Like plotting everything at once. It's like a really strange space to be in when everything is flowing and you're improvising under this like crazy stressful situation where you don't know what you're doing and you have the whole team of your brain behind you like making plans. Does that explain it? I would say that I'm a mime. I used to call myself a clown a little bit, but then it's got too many like negative con connotations. Like people think clown, they get freaked out by like those weird circus clowns and Ronald McDonald. Yeah, but mime, no one, like there's Marcel Marceau and that kind of shitty French street mime. But it's not, it's not like a bad guy. It's just like, oh yeah. So I say mime because I know that I can like, People will watch and go, oh my god, mime is different from what I thought. You know? <laughs> Philippe Gaulier is a teacher in France and he's really popular at the moment. There's a lot of people going to study with him because he's got so much experience. He was always a really good teacher, but there was a big phase where he was a total alcoholic by all the stories. And now he's not drinking so much and he's like really quite clear and he's more gentle than what he used to be. He used to be so hard on people with this kind of French way of, of not telling you how to do good but just telling you what you're doing is shit and you have to find how to do good. And he's really good at like spotting that and turning you into something great. All the ideas have come through improvisation in front of an audience where I've walked on with no ideas in my head and I just start moving my body. And if I hear the audience laughing and I'm like, okay, I'm onto something here. And then at some point I'll have, like it'll just, my body will spark an idea in my head. Like, so there's a, a routine which is the, baby bird being fed by its mother and I think that just started out by me like, doing that and in, in being this bird I don't know something just happened in my head where I went oh it's probably gonna feed a baby bird now and the act just kind of came quite inspired like that that's when it's best is when when you step away you can see what actions you are performing but you're also very critical of where to go next. 
you're sort of navigating from two steps ahead. Yeah, I think there's something in the playfulness as well. Just it's, it's quite it's quite playful. The stuff that's been the most successful is when I'm just a kid in a playground, you know. <laughs>